Best known for his role as Mandla Kumalo, the journalist for the Hillside Times, this is a story Freedom's character would appreciate. The big day in Bloemfontein comes four years after the business graduate and respected actor was on his way to Cape Town and found himself transfixed by a member of the cabin crew. We actually met in the air. <laughs> oh yeah? Yeah, um, she was working as a flight attendant uh, for one of the airlines and uh, I was with my friend Heino Schmidt, a uh, colleague of mine as well. And uh, I said to her, hey, I know, that's my wife, man. I've never seen him that nervous, actually, to be honest. You know, he's a very, he's a very warm, charming guy, and he, he can walk up to anyone and talk to them, but that day he was really like, like he was love-struck. From then on, I started calling her, called her for a whole year, man, before I could even, you know, no. get to meet, to see her again. It was kind of done deliberate, but also, you know, I mean... Oh, so it was deliberate? Yeah, you had to. And yeah, I, th I thought she was just busy working. It took him quite a while to, to get Willow's attention, but, but once she realized that, she couldn't help but love the guy. After he proposed in Cape Town, they chose her family home here in the City of Roses for the wedding. Venue owner Veronica Williams set the sumptuous tone in silver and gold glassware with pearl and crystal draped chandeliers. So I guess this is where the king and queen will be sitting. Yes, definitely Simba. Um, you know, if it's your wedding day, mm -hmm. you must definitely feel special. Yeah. And uh, we bought these chairs in, uh, in Paris. In, in Paris of Paris? Paris in the Free State, um, and they are very special. The flowers that I used are peonies and roses. And, and peonies aren't even in season. Yes, but can I tell you a secret? It's fake, but all the other flowers that I used are fresh flowers. Photographer Francois Slubbett created a photo book for guests to write heartfelt messages. The cake would be part of the starters, so we caught Monica Harams's artistry before the cake knife came out. Monica, this looks absolutely amazing. What did Willow want for her cake? Willow wanted something very, very elegant, and she also said to me, I don't want something that looked like a cake. And she loved Erem Lily, so we decided to do a very elegant, and also the coloring, you know, the ivory is a very, very elegant color, and we decided to do the inside yellow because the theme is actually yellow. And please, you must have a piece of this. I will definitely will have a piece. <laughs> <laughs> Siavandalan costume designer Johnny Matole was asked to dress the groomsmen, then the bridesmaids. In the end, he created the dress too. She initially came with the idea, we sat around, discussed it. Every little detail, she was hands on. Yeah. And the detailing is absolutely amazing. What's your favorite part about the dress? I must say it's the Shiroski Diamante. I came up with this, I just thought, you know what, I need something that will just, my nice physique, you know, just pop it a bit. <laughs> the other diamantes were not as shiny as the Swarovskis, so she decided, no, let's stick yeah. with the Swarovskis. So it was a battle between her and myself and the husband. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously because of the cost. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the cost. <laughs> with Willow being of Oshivambo descent and the groom Zulu, there was stress about how the cultures would combine. But once the parents accepted the union, it was all systems go. How are you feeling right now? You're about to walk down the aisle. Right now, um, I'm overwhelmed with joy, happiness and love as well because I'm really meeting my ideal partner of life. Excitement, lots and lots of excitement, yeah. Because I'm about to share the rest of my life with him. What's more perfect than that? Born in Luderitzbucht and raised in the Northern Cape and Free State by her Namibian mother and South African father, Willow's everything freedom was looking for. I think the one attribute that Willow has that just blows my mind is that, you know, she's kind. She's very, very kind and um, very loving as well. And, and she takes care of me and my son, so yeah. The traditional marriage would be a week later, but first, the Western wedding, which had friend and actress Melanie Dubois very emotional. Oh, the ceremony was beautiful, especially um, when they did their vows and their prayers. I was in tears, because it was so beautiful, because both of them, you could see the love, you could see the, the beautiful heart and soul and, and we know Freedom very well and he's a beautiful person and it all came out yeah. in the ceremony. We were privileged enough to take them through the marriage counselling, Megan and I. So this is a culmination of a year's work getting them to take this big step and it's, it's yeah. really been fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's been a blessing to be part of their marriage and part of the ceremony. Willow and Freedom, all that we can say to you guys 
is just to love each other, just shower each other with lots and lots and of love. After Willow's bouquet went to Ngoti Ndalipale, a friend from home, Freedom cut loose with a solo routine, which reminded everyone that he was a strictly come dancing runner-up. Perhaps he was just excited at the two weeks they were about to take off in Bali. The day went by so quickly, but we enjoyed each and every moment. I'm blessed with a beautiful bride, beautiful wife, love. I am truly blessed. And thank you so much for coming into my life. I love you very, very much. I love you. <laughs> right now, they plan to settle into their marriage and let the honeymoon period last as long as possible. They'll continue to focus on their careers and simply enjoy being in love.